Naam chama cha mawakili LSK na wanaharakati wa kutetea haki za Bin Adam wanashinikiza wajibikaji wa polisi huku wakiwataka kuacha kuwateka nyara watu wanaopaza sauti zao kutetea haki zao na kushinikiza uongozi bora humu nchini. Mwenyekiti wa LSK Faith Odhiambo amewataka maafisa wa polisi kuachilia waandamanaji wote waliokamatwa na kuwasilisha waliotekwa nyara na kufichwa kwenye maeneo yasiyojulikana. The, the kind of cases we have gotten, most of the people have now that challenge that they cannot come forward. I was quite disappointed by the statement by the director of public prosecutions because he should be giving statements instead of throwing his hands up and saying there's nothing he can do. He's, uh, he has an independent constitutional office and he cannot come and tell the people of Kenya that he's helpless. He should rack his brains and find solutions. How does he support these families to ensure that their statements can be taken to also press the director of, of, of DCI to ensure that uh, they carry out proper investigations, that if some of these families need witness protection, that they ensure that the same is offered. So that if they are serious about actually investigating and prosecuting some of these cases, we've been able to reach out to IPOA as the Law Society of Kenya. In some instances, families that are too scared, LSK will accompany them or we can ask them to a comfortable place where they feel we invite IPO and LSK goes there as well. So the director of public prosecutions cannot throw his hands up and say there's nothing that he cannot do. The reason why he does not have those statements is because they have not facilitated an environment that people can actually report. And most importantly as well is that the head of state spoke in his last speech saying the way they will support these families and ensure they get compensation. Most of these families, apart from those women who have lost their loved ones, some who have been injured are still struggling. Uh, we're seeing people uh, holding harambees to bury their dead. We're seeing people holding harambees to be able to treat their loved ones that were injured because of police brutality. Let us actually see tangible action. Let, we, let us see um, the head of state coming out and setting, even if it's a kitty, or how will they ensure that they'll compensate most of these victims? Because the reality is the current environment and the consistent uh, conduct of the National Police Service to use excessive force and the issue of the continued disappearances does not give people confidence in the National Police Service. We need to see the director of criminal, uh, DCI ensuring that he carries out proper investigations to ensure Kenyans that they're actually serious with holding rogue police to account. We used to have the Internal Affairs Unit. We don't know how much work they're doing that they can also help in the investigations to ensure that members of the public can gain back that confidence that if you go to report your case, you will not be called at the side to be threatened or your loved ones won't be threatened or you may end up disappearing as well because that's the biggest challenge we're having because without evidence, we cannot support cases for prosecution of those perpetrators. If the revelation of Mama Rex this morning is anything to go by, uh, do you see any possibility of the families that lost their beloved one getting justice and